What's up guys, hey, it's Drew. Today I wanna to talk about the option period when you buy a house. A lot of people don't understand that when you're looking at houses, you like one and you wanna put an offer and you get the offer accepted, it doesn't mean you have to buy the house. It doesn't mean you're moving in tomorrow and if you wake up the next day not feeling 100% on it, you're stuck. That's not what it means at all. We'll tell you when you're stuck, it's later. Anyways, so the option period, okay? So it is a seven to 10 day period, depending on what your agent negotiates uh, in the offer with the listing agent. I always love for my clients, my agent's clients, who are, who are, who are usually first time home buyers, I love for our clients to have a 10 day option period. You want a 10 day option period because this is the time where you get an inspection on your house, all right? That's a big deal. We have a great stable of preferred inspectors we work with who are great at their jobs, highly vetted, and those inspectors are going to look at the house all the way through, right? So foundation, HVAC, roof, mechanical systems, plumbing, even little things, even cosmetic things, right? Electrical systems, right? So the inspection happens. It's a long report, very daunting. It, we have to, as agents, it's our job to let you know, hey, you're about to get a 26 page document telling you how flawed your house is, right? And that's because these inspectors are professionals. They're doing their jobs. They don't want to miss anything. They could get sued, right? So we get this inspection report. The agent helps you read the inspection report, digest the inspection report, and importantly, know what to ask for in this inspection report. Know what to ask for back from the seller. Um, so the seller doesn't want to give up anything, right? But we have leverage in this situation. Even in a seller's market, the buyer has leverage because we have outs from the contract within the option period especially. You can pull out of a contract in the option period for any reason, any reason whatsoever. So um, there is a financial consideration for the option period and that is a few hundred bucks. It usually depends on some situations such as uh, how much is the house. If it's a million dollar house, option money is gonna be more like $800,000. If it's more your average, you know, $300,000, $400,000 house in Austin, uh, looking at, 250 to $400, okay? So that's money that you could potentially lose or you will lose if you pull out in the option period. You also lose the amount of money that it costs to get the inspection and any other subsequent professionals coming to the house to look at it, right? So, you know, worst case scenario, you're out a thousand bucks for tying up a house, getting under contract and realizing it's not the one, okay? So I'm not saying that's chump change, it sucks. Uh, however, you know, the seller is out of an opportunity because, uh, and here's the leverage where the buyer has. We essentially are able to say, look, you need to fix some of these things or give us a credit in cash at closing so we can fix these things. Um, or your house is gonna go back on the market. And then other potential buyers in the future see that it's gone from a pending state where it's under contract back to active and it's a big blemish on the contract and they're gonna say, what's wrong with this house? So we have leverage there, you know, uh, plus the, buy, the seller doesn't wanna go through that hassle, right? So they are, if they're smart, you know, willing to give reasonable repair credits. Uh, so it's a whole nother negotiation that happens during the option period after we get a thing on contract in light of the inspection report. So anyways, you want a 10 day option period uh, because there's other professionals like roofers, plumbers, HVAC that sometimes need to come out and give us these estimates after the inspection report so we know how much to ask for from the seller, right? So option period, 10 days. Here's why it's all like a relationship, okay? So 10 days, 10 days in, uh, uh, things start getting serious. The option period elapses and it's like, putting a ring on it. Basically, you're, it's like you're getting engaged at the end of the option period because then your earnest money, which is typically 1% of your purchase price, 
goes hard, if you will. So once the earnest money is hard, it's much harder to get back your deposit. Uh, you get the earnest money deposit back if you pull out within the option period. If it's after the option period, there are some outs, you know, talk to your realtors about that. Uh, I've taken a class on the 32 buyer outs on how to get out of a contract. Um, there actually are quite a few. There's some tricks. Um, but worst thing is the idea of losing that earnest money deposit, which is in the thousands of dollars now, not just the hundreds. So uh it's like dating when you get into an option period you come to agreement you know it's like you come to agreement to date someone and there's no written contract there's no ring and if you break up it sucks don't get me wrong however you know it's not nearly as big of a deal as if you were past an option period past the engagement now we have some real shit to deal with okay um of course Marriage comes when you close on the house, then it's yours and you can't really do much uh, if there is a roof leak, you know, you have to deal with that. Hopefully you have a warranty in place to deal with that. Um, but you're, you're with that house, you're married to that person. Um, so uh, basically what I, to conclude the whole option period talk, what I want everyone to know about an option period is you are not committed to the home. You're just, you're dating the home, right? And you're essentially, uh, you're essentially, you know, showing that you want the home, you know, uh, calling it pretty, uh, getting, learning more about the home through the inspection port. What's up, Thicky? Um, but you're learning about this house. You're making sure it's the right fit and you can pull out for any reason. So. That's why we should not be shy in putting in offers when you find something you'd like because we know that you're not stuck with it. You have the option to get out um, and any savvy realtor will actually put in the contract where your option fee, that three, four hundred bucks, will actually be credited back to you during closing should you close on the house. So very little risk in getting a homeowner contract. Things really start getting real after that option period ends, seven to 10 days. We like to do 10 days for our first time home our clients. Um, and yeah, you know, uh, the more you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, we love doing this stuff. If you have any questions about the option period or just contracts in general, just DM me. I'll, I'm happy to answer. All right, y'all. Have a good Monday and I'll see y'all soon. Bye now.